welcome to my channel um today i will be refreshing my fro after a week of protective styling so i normally protective style monday through friday and then on friday evenings i refresh my hair i will i refresh my fro so i take it down and i usually just spritz it with some warm water and add some product to it but today um I'm not going to use the products I normally use. I normally use like um, a moisturizer and a gel, but I'm not doing that today. I'm just going to refresh with my gel because I have mineral oil in my hair. Yes, mineral oil. I know everybody hate it. Everybody's anti-mineral oil, but I'm good with it. it. It serves its purposes. There are pros and cons to using mineral oil. Pro being it's a super sealant. Um, any type of moisture or hydration that you have in your hair will be sealed in. It is a super sealant. So when I do use mineral oil, it's like it's during a wash day. Um, after I've deep deep conditioned and added my leave-in, I will use a mineral oil after that because I want all of that sealed in. So um, that's a pro. It's a super sealant. The con is a super sealant. So if your hair is dry. All that dryness is going to be sealed into your hair. No amount of moisture or hydration that you try to add to your hair after you've you've had this mineral oil on your hair. None of that is going to penetrate your shat, your your strands. For this reason, um, when I'm refreshing during a week of an updo, I only refresh with water. So it would be a waste to use product on my hair. So since I've had this updo, I've just been refreshing it with water every other day and when i say refresh i'm really only doing it for smoothing purposes i want to spritz some water on it to smooth it back up and maybe um twist it up to get some definition so yeah i just add water but um mineral oil it is a moisture it, it, it seals all that moisture in that's why i'm able to maintain this hairdo and it is still moist although i haven't added any product this week to it other than water my hair is still hydrated that is the beauty of mineral oil. The key to using mineral oil is moderation and clarifying. I don't use mineral oil in my hair every week. I may use it one week and skip a, skip a couple of weeks after that. Um, and clarification. Once I use mineral oil on my wash day, I'm going to clarify my hair. I'm going to strip all of this out of my hair. So I can go back in with my deep conditioner and my leave-in. And then for that week, I'm not going to use a mineral oil. I'm going to use maybe some other nourishing oils in my hair. Now that you know what I got going on with this updo, let's get to the takedown. So I'm just taking this down. And another thing with um, mineral oil is great for protective styling because you're not going to be manipulating your hair. Your ends are going to be tucked away. Um... So I know a lot of people say, well, it mats my hair. Well, that's fine if you if you are protective styling um, because you're not going to be manipulating it at all. Oh, my body pins out. I think I got them all out. Nope, I got another one. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm about to snap this back to my fro. And because I have mineral oil in my hair, I'm not going to use a moisturizer. I'm just going to use some water and some gel. And I'm not even going to use my good, my good gel. I'm going to use some Eco Styler because I don't want to waste my good gel on my hair because, like I say, it's not going to penetrate. And I'm going to wash this out in a couple of days. So Eco Styler it is. All right. So warm water. I'm just going to lightly mist it just to um, get it to loosen up. And maybe detangle a little. Yeah. My hair is really not tangled because it's been semi-stretched in that updo. So 
So yeah, when I wash my hair on this Sunday, I am going to clarify, strip all this mineral oil out of my hair, and um, go back in with my good stuff, my conditioners, and my oils. All right. So adding a little eco. And the only reason I'm using eco is because I want my fro to have some definition and hold. Now, keep in mind now, you know, mineral oil gets a bad rap, but all that moisture I put in my hair on last Sunday is still in my hair. Look at these curls. That's due to hydration and moisture. And y'all, I can't even front. So the product I use, I'm not real big on reading the ingredients and products. You know, I'm just not that fanatical about it. I do um, value good products, um, but in terms of just being super cautious, I want to say, <laughs> I'm not that person because I feel like if you take good care of your hair, regardless of what products you're using, your hair is going to thrive. And when I say take good care of your hair, I mean wash and condition on a regular basis, wash and deep condition on a regular basis. Cause you know, I hear people talk about, you know, no silicones, no sulfates. I'm just not that fanatical about it. Not only, you know, is it important to take care of your hair, you gotta take care of the inside too. So that means drinking lots of water, getting your fruits and vegetables. I think, of course, I don't think, I know all of that contributes to um, healthy hair. Y'all hear the airplane? I'm next to an airport. You know, I need to do a comparison because I never really um, paid attention to what my fro looks like after a mineral oil week versus a non-mineral oil week. I think I'm going to monitor that in the future. Oh, so back to the product I use. <laughs> I almost forgot. So I got this oil on a whim. It's that Do Grow Maximum Growth Oil. And I remember I used to use it when I was relaxed. And um, I thought, hmm, you know, that's pretty good when I was relaxed. Let me try it. And so just looking at the front, it was talking about all of the um, beneficial oils. It was an oil blend. It's an oil blend. I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. So I just grabbed it on a whim. I didn't even look at the back. And so to be honest... After my second time using it, I don't know what made me read the ingredients. And um, mineral oil was the first ingredient in that stuff, which lets me know it's primarily mineral oil. All the other oils were secondary to the mineral oil. So... I say all that to say that particular oil, you know, it boasts all of those benefits, but in essence, it's primarily mineral oil because mineral oil is just a filler. So I said, hey, I'll have it a while because like I said, I don't use it often. Maybe once a month. But I ain't mad at it because my hair is moisturized. It's hydrated. And I'm not 
not using a lot of water. I just want enough to be able to um, detangle a little bit. I don't know. I just feel like my hair is more manageable. Like, I don't want this video to be um, too skewed toward mineral oil use, but man, I like, I just like the way my hair is feeling. It feels moisturized in front. I can't hate on the mineral oil. It's crazy. My own hair and products gross me out. Like, ugh, I don't, I don't like to see it. It's just gross. All right, so that is it. I'm gonna let this air dry. Shouldn't take long, because I didn't add much water to it. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't take long. Of course, I will have some shrinkage, but that's the joys of being type four. That's it guys, simple as that. I'll return once it dries, just to show you what it's looking like, but yeah. So don't be afraid of mineral oils or petroleums. Um, test it out on your hair. You know, at first I was um, scared to use it, starting out as a natural. You want to go, you want to abide by all the rules that the naturals make. Um, you want to be within those guidelines and sometimes you just gotta try things for yourself to see what works for your hair and i just found that this works for my hair so i encourage you to do the same thanks for watching bye